So I want to share um, one of the most important lessons of my life. And it's a little bit of a story, but I'm going to talk about the story so it'll make sense. When I was, um, when I was uh, in my early 20s, my dad died. And I wasn't close to my dad. And, but I was with him and last night. He, um, he was in the hospital. And while I was there, he asked me to take his ashes to Ganges. And I promised him I would. And we weren't close at all. But, uh, but because I promised him and he died that night, I did. And a week later, I was on a flight to India. This really, in, I mean, India, this land, this crazy, crazy land. This ancient history. This, these ancestors I have there that I have, you know, don't feel, never felt a connection with. And next thing I know, I'm, I'm on a plane to India with his ashes. And um, so I went. I was supposed to come home three weeks later. I came home eight months later. Something in me just went off when I was there. And I ended up traveling all through India, climbed the Himalayas. And through a series of events, I ended up actually uh, coming back through Europe and walking this ancient pilgrimage in Spain called the Camino de Santiago. And... Keep in mind, I think I had about $3,000 to my name at the time. I was just kind of like following life. I just was lost. I was trying to come to terms with death, you know, death of this man I barely knew. And I had, and, you know, pretty not so nice memories off. And as I walked this pilgrimage, and I'm, I'm not religious in any means, and I definitely wasn't religious back then, um, I met these amazing people, and they taught, they taught me so much about life and um and I finished it and, and really helped me come to terms with the death of my father. Taught me, but the main lesson I learned was forgiveness. Forgiving uh, him, forgiving myself, uh, which is probably the most important thing. Uh, funny enough, if you forgive yourself, it's for, as far as you to forgive others. Uh, that's a very important lesson I've learned. And I continued traveling. Um, and I returned home and I was broke. I had no money and I locked myself upstate in a, in a, in a friend's house upstate New York. And for six months, I set out to write a little story to share what I had learned, what I had experienced with my friends. Because it's very hard to describe this, this eight-month-long experience. You know, you go away and you come back and people are still just doing the same thing, whereas you've just gone on this large uh, transformational journey. And so I come back and I spend six months locked up in this house, upstate New York, in the winter, just writing, writing, writing the story, which became a book. And it was a memoir. And I remember when I finished it, I went to uh, Barnes and Noble, and I, I I barely ran out of the ran out of the house. I finally was like, gave myself a break. Went to Barnes and Noble, and I was in the you know recommended book section. I picked up this book uh, just randomly. It was Hemingway, uh, Farewell to Arms, and I started reading it. And by the time I was done with the first paragraph, I was actually crying because at that. I realized this is what real writing was. And I had just spent six months writing just a pile of garbage. It was, oh God, it was bad. But I now had a direction where to go to what real writing was. So um, after that, I moved to Silicon Valley and I was work, dealing, working with startups and building companies and that crazy lifestyle. But at the same time, at night, everybody going out, I'd be like writing and rewriting and studying, you know, all the books, I, I, all the writers I love, studying from them and just trying to get a better writer, better writer and rewriting this book and rewriting this book. And I did that over years. And, um, and you know, then I would send it out to agents and publishers and get rejection letters. And then I would get depressed for a week or sometimes longer, you know, and then I would say, OK, I'm going to be a better writer. And then I would spend that next year just like teaching myself writing but, um, you know, just just taking apart any great writer I could and learning from them and just then rewriting the story. And I ended up rewriting this book about eight or nine times. So by the time I got, you know, and all through each process, collecting a whole bunch of rejection letters. And let me tell you, you know, when everyone's like, what is Kamal doing spending all this time writing? Like he's got, you know, you're not a published author. You make no money off it. It's kind of silly. But I had a story to tell. I had something very important to tell that I wanted to share, something I'd lived and it had a transformative effect on my life. And I knew if I could get it across in a way that, that I lived it, that well, what I experienced, the truth of what I experienced, it would actually transform the ones I shared it with as well. And over time, that memoir, actually I realized, was, uh, did not serve the reader. So I turned to a novel. I took the basic experience and created a whole novel out of it. And that actually made me step up to be able to be a better writer, a better writer. And all this time collecting rejection letters and rejection letters. And 
Then I got an agent and in New York. I was so excited. I thought, oh, sweet, I made it. This is it. You know, I'm the big time. Great guy. He loved the book. And I think six months later, he gets back to me. He's like, man, you're an unknown writer. No one's publishing fiction from unknown writers. Sorry, man. And so I just took the book and just put it aside and I uh, said, okay, I'm done. I was building my last company and I was all into it for three and a half years. And those of you who have read Love Yourself and Love Your Truth, uh, my first two books, know what happened. The whole thing blew up. I blew up along with it, lost everything. And how I saved myself was with this little practice I came up and this vow I made and uh, to love myself. And so when I was uh, rebuilding myself, you know, James Altucher, who many of you know, who's amazing if you don't follow him, read his work, you know, told me I should write that as a little book. And so I did. And I put that little book out. I wrote that book. I wrote the book that I wish someone had given me when I was down. No, it's not the usual that you see, you know, all the stuff full of case studies and fillers and theory and all that crap. No, just just what works. And I wrote the book and and actually what what those all those years of writing allowed me to do was write a book like that. Because otherwise I'd be I would have written this book, Love Yourself, which would have been pretty much garbage, just full of my ego and just trying to make things good, whereas I stripped out everything that didn't matter and just left in what mattered. And I put it out and didn't market it, anything self-publish it. And within a month, it was the number one self help book on Amazon. And that book has gone on, you know, it just continues to grow and grow and, and open doors. And it's, it's amazing. It's changing lives and it's changed my life as a writer. Showed that, you know, what happens when you just take your truth and on a craft you work so hard for and you share it with the world. You know, whatever our passion is, our craft is writing, painting, raising kids, singing, riding bikes, whatever. Whatever it is that we really care about and then put it out to the world. Share it in a way that's helpful. My God, it transforms other people's lives and more importantly, it transforms your life. You know, the people give you way more. The world gives you way, way more than you ever, ever gave it. That wrote my second book, I Live Your Truth, which I self-published. And then that novel that had been sitting all this time, actually my new agent, uh, he decided to take it out to publishers, and he sold it. And part of the reason it was bought was um, because I now had a proven track record as a writer. I was an, not an unknown writer anymore. And and then I was able to use all the maturity that I had from writing the Love Yourself and Live Your Truth, which were so honest and so raw, and then rewrite that novel one last time and really create something beautiful and special out of it. That And uh, that... And including all these lessons I'd learned the last few years that I didn't hadn't learned before. And so it really, uh, it made me step up again and create this special work. And I put it out to the world and it's doing well and it's a beautiful book. And But here's the thing. If I hadn't been working all those years on Rebirth, which is a novel, and getting those direction letters, I never would have had the craft to write Love Yourself. It's because you love yourself that I got the, and Love Your Truth, that I got the audience that allowed me to be able to get the novel published. Uh, but yet, it was a novel that kept me going at the craft. So sometimes I think we just need something that we have to share with the world. And if we apply that to our craft, we get better. And it's interesting, Rebirth was not the first book published. It was the third book published. But it's because of working so obsessively hard on it that I was able to write the books that put me on the map as a writer. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's been one of the most important lessons of my life is to, you know, it's ultimately, it's not... What others say, like, or others point at that you're doing is what we do in our, in our alone moments, what we work on, what really matters to us. If we just work on getting better and better at it and putting it out, putting it out, eventually it will hit. But what's, what's interesting is the thing that we're working on may not hit, but something on the side that we worked on because of all the knowledge and the craft we learned will hit and then allow the second thing to hit. It's, it's funny how life works. Um, we, can't see the, we can't see the road ahead, and that's, I mean, that's a gift and a curse. But, uh, my God, it's been amazing. So, it's been a really important lesson, and I'm rambling, and it's my first time doing one of these. I'm trying this out. But I hope it's helpful. And it's been a very important part of my life's journey, and I want to share it.